Yo, what it do, guys, and welcome back to another video. With the new Zaraman Holdfast faction came a new set of interactable materials to find and pick up to use for their reputation stand-in. Introducing Void Plumes. Now, these are similar to the Syndicate Medallions, meaning that you will need to find them within the Zaraman missions. As per usual, they are very much out of plain sight, which can cause some players to run around aimlessly searching and breaking each canister and cache they come across just to make some long-winded progress. Enter Zaku. This Warframe is a great go-to investment to help search related objectives exactly like this one more bearable. Now Limbo is also a great alternative as well but we'll get more to him later. For now here is a quick rundown to help you find the void plumes you are looking for. Down, Vein and Crest. Start off by selecting the Exterminate mission on the Zaraman navigation console inside the elevator. Exterminate missions don't really have a failure clause to them besides when you're running out of lives, so you can happily take your time and search around without having to worry about any objectives. From here, use your Zaku's fourth ability, the Unvast Time, to shed the Warframe skin, shattering any object around you that can be broken. All you're doing now is opening up your minimap to run towards any loot-related icons that you see. Your companion equipped with either vacuum or fetch should end up collecting all loose loot on the ground that's been left from breaking the caches. This is easy enough to understand as it's quite an automated process. And for the loot that you're not collecting, now this requires a manual process. This basically means it would usually be a void plume or even an Ayrton sculpture that should be out of your way to go ahead and pick up. So you'll notice that the vacuum doesn't pick it up. Therefore, it's really noticeable for you to go ahead and collect. This will help you find these syndicate standards faster and more efficiently. Now, as for the Saku build, I recommend taking maxed out range. The further your ability spreads, the better it is for breaking things. Bring in loot detector as a mod and equip companion mods like Animal Instinct or Primed Animal Instinct to help you detect loot further away from your Warframe, giving you an advantage to see what direction to head towards. Now, Feast Wit can also be used. Bring in some efficiency so that you can recast your abilities more often and mods like Preparation will allow you to enter the mission with a full energy pool and not worry about energy, so just spam away. If you find yourself having any trouble surviving, then don't be afraid to mix in some survivability in whatever way suits you. So here is a quick alternative build that you can also use for limb just flexing this up on the screen real quick. Uh, if you do not have access to a Zaku Warframe just yet, don't worry. Focus in on the same areas, plenty of range and detection related mods, and you're pretty much good to go. There are some weapons that you can also go and use as an alternative, like Ogris, weapons that have large explosive ranges on them, like Rama to go and help shatter caches and break loot open to be easily collected. Feel free to take that option. As for the other Void Plumes, Quill is found by Cephalon Melika, giving her an accolade, which is usually found in the same way by searching for it. So this build is going to still be good for you. And uh, it can also be gained from Ravenous Angels within the Void Armageddon missions and even by completing bounties for Quinn. And as for the Void Plume Pinion, that is found by completing Void Angel statues and successfully defeating the angel that awaits for its rewards. Now, I already have a guide from that if you guys are interested. Feel free to go check it out. So a tedious method has become a bearable one as you now search and destroy with your unvast time Zaku builds. Now if this video has helped you, then please take a moment of your time to go ahead and support the video by giving it a cheeky like. Do please share the video with a friend if you know of anyone struggling and looking for a quick breakdown. And as per usual, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. As always, guys, I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video.